Yes, you can manage okay. it to yes. Um, and so, in our, in our environment, your homes will be under net. So under net home, mm. you have a directory in here somewhere. <laughs> yes. The, the there we go. Soft, software is... Uh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, so th this is your home directory. and uh, Home directory, domestic address of this computer. How, how describe? Why? Not on... No, this is out, out on the network. Out on the network. Okay. 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 So the other parts, and, and because of the way Linux works and you can mount different file systems, different machines on your your local file system, mm -hmm. you, as you're accessing things, it's not always clear whether your data is local or remote. Mm -hmm. So in this environment, we've made a convention of everything under net mm. is the remote stuff. So mm -hmm. all the rest of the stuff is, is local. So if I plug in your USB drive again. USB drive at 2.0, right? Yeah, and it's okay. 2.04. 2 yes, yes. And then it yeah. appears. It will spin up, and you'll get a little prompt down here mm -mm. saying, you know, you've got a couple actions, and you click on it, and you can open it up mm. in File Manager. Okay. Yeah. And, and then, these are directories. Where, where is the directory? My passport? No. Yeah, no, yeah. No, it'll, it'll show under my passport. Yes. And yes. it showed, you know, it showed up over here as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and so, you know, and then you can go through just like you would any other, mm -hmm. uh, you know, explorer under Windows. Yes. Okay. So, um, that's where you'll find your stuff. Again, being safe and doing the right click safely remove is the best way mm -hmm. to... Safely remove my passport. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Light click, right? Light click. Right. Right, right, right click, click. Yes. yeah. And then safely remove, and, mm -hmm. it, and it'll, you know, I'm actually mildly surprised that it's not removing it from the list over here, because mm -hmm. cause if I clicked it again, it mounted it, which is not, not what is expected. So when you do that, actually unplug it. Mm -hmm. Or oh. turn off the uh, at the computer. Ne? After that, after turning off the computers, I can remove. Yeah, yeah. Certainly, if you mm -hmm. if you unplug it, though, if you want to, you know, shift mm -hmm. it over to your Windows machine without uh, without shutting down the Linux machine, do the the safely remove first. Mm. Um, otherwise, you can end up with uh, corrupted file systems, which is not good. Mm. Um, yeah. You know, uh, so it works now. So, the, so how, how, how can I install the you know, Open Office on this laptop? On this open computer? Office is here. Open um, Office is here. Already installed in a domestic one. Right? Yeah, applications. Applications. Uh, to, just hang on a second. Office. Office. Yeah. Thank you. And then it'll be all the, the document viewer and the um, document viewer. I'm using. Um, actually, apps, yeah. How about Word I, processor is Word the OpenOffice.org. Ah, uh, spreadsheet, there's a, there's spreadsheet, couple, yeah, yeah, okay, spreadsheet thank you. there. Yeah, yeah. So there, there's a couple as it, there's a couple of different word processors, but you're looking for the mm -hmm. one with okay, the. Okay, I, I, I try to accustom to use this. Thank you very <laughs> and much. Act, yeah, and there's the office right, right, which will oh, pop great. up the big startup screen. The office is uh, it installed on the domestic drive. Yes. Oh. Yeah, open offices on. And the browser, browser, uh, it what's kind of Firefox or? Something? Um, it's Usually. The, bra the browser that they that is installed. Oh, yeah. Uh, Web they have theirs. The KDE one is called Conqueror. Um, there's also a Debian version of Firefox, which is called oh, Ice Weasel, but Ice I'm trying Weasel. to find. Mm. So what's the recommendation to use a browser on the Linux computer? Uh, where is the web browser? This is, this is effectively Firefox, the Ice Weasel one. Mm. Um, Ice, Ice Weasel. Yeah, that's oh. what that's what it's called under Debian because they make some some slight changes to it, mm -hmm. um, but it is effectively Firefox. Mm. Um, slightly old looking Firefox, but in any case, I mean, it, it, pretty much everything works. Oh, also even the JavaScript, to Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Flash, Adobe, no, Flash can work. Uh, Flash, really, have no ideas. 
Flash should work. Flash should work. There, though, the Flash player that's installed is a GNU version of Flash. Hmm. So if you really want the Adobe version of Flash, we can do that. It's a it, little bit uglier in the sense that uh, the updates don't happen quite as cleanly. Hmm. And given Adobe's track history with uh, security issues with Flash, mm -hmm. that can be a bit of a problem. So let me know if you start running into Flash stuff that's not working, and I'll I'll get the Adobe one installed mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. you. Yeah, Adobe, because I'm familiar with using Flash yes. on my on my laptop. Yeah. So maybe please. Okay. Yeah. I will make a note to myself. Too. So then may I, I try to custom to use this computer? And what, yeah, and, what? and my suggestion is... Mm. Okay, I'll have to, fix up. I have to fix something up before I can... Some of the mail stuff works. It doesn't work now? No, I'm... Mm. A certain, okay. way of, a certain way of sending mail won't work right now because mm. I haven't finished the configuration. Oh, okay, okay. Um, but if you, you know, I don't know where you're going to read your mail. Um, one of the common applications for mail is the mail client. Mail client. Uh, stuff, which again is pretty much Thunderbird. Standable. Yeah. And standard. Pretty yeah. much standard. Yeah. Mm. It's a mail software. Yeah, the mail client, it, it's again, they, I don't know why they rename them, mm. um, but iStub is, is the Thunderbird mail client from Mozilla. IceWeasel is the Firefox web mm. browser from Mozilla. Mm -hmm. No idea why they rename them, but they do. Mm. Okay, so, you know, that's a, again, depending upon what mail client you want to use and where you want to read your mail. Mm -hmm. um, that's one of, the, one of the choices. Okay. I, I've never used this, but I tried to use this. Maybe well, this again, if, if you're used to using your laptop and you know, Outlook, mm. then you're probably better off sticking with Outlook on your, on your laptop. Because okay, okay. it, it's a very different inf interface and it does things quite differently. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, you know, there's a few different web browsers on here. Mm. Okay. Kind of, you know, you mm. find one that you like and and make use of it. Again, this Ice Weasel is, is basically Firefox. Um, as far as, uh, actually, tell you what, let's get you, let you log in. I can start, I can shut down the computer and do, no, start in computer again. Pardon me, how do you? Okay, I mean, the, uh, shut down the computer. I mean, uh, shut down the. Uh, finally, eh? I know. Shut down the computer. I want to log in by myself. Yeah, I, uh, I was just gonna, I'm just going to log out right now. Yes. And let you log in. Yeah.